What's up, YouTube? It's Mark here from Next Level Tech and Android TV Tips, and I've had a lot of people asking me what VPN I use. This is not a sponsored video. Um, I don't usually talk about VPNs a whole lot on my channel, but I do use one. And those of you that have reached out to me know that I've been using Nord for a few years now. Now, there's a couple reasons I choose to use Nord. There's a lot of VPN services out there, um, and there are a lot of VPN services that have the same features, but I've been using them for years and I've enjoyed the service, so I continue to do so. So one of the main reasons we all use a VPN is for privacy. You want to make sure that you are, you know, secure in anything that you do in the online world. We hear about people that are getting hacked. We hear about people that are having identity theft that is being done with them. Um, all the way down to streaming, you know, your legitimate services in uh, other countries. People want to access things like Netflix outside of the U.S. and get that same kind of content. Um, there are VPN services for all of the above and a lot more. Um, there are a lot of applications um, and this is one of the main reasons that I've used Nord for so long. There are a lot of applications that I've used and I still continue to use that have advertisements in them. And the problem with a lot of VPNs and ad blockers is that you cannot run them both at the same time. So, so what happens is when you run an ad blocker, generally as an application or a DNS changer, it creates a VPN-like connection. And most operating systems can only run one VPN-like connection at a time. So if you run your AdGuard, your, your um, Blockada, or StopAd, or DNS Changer Lily, whatever you're using to block your advertisements, and then you go over to your VPN and you launch your VPN, you try to connect, they're going to struggle and they're going to boot each other off. So one of the reasons that I use Nord is because I'm able to use an ad blocker in two different ways with their software. And I'll go over that with you guys right here. So on my Fire Stick, I'm on my Fire Stick right here. The way to install it is just really holding down the voice remote button and saying Nord VPN. It's going to take you right here. You download it and you install it. Um, obviously, you need an account for NordVPN. It is not a free service, but it is fairly cheap. Uh, they are having a sale right now, and I'll, I'll show you guys all that information. There will be a link in description and all that kind of good stuff. But I'm really just going to talk to you guys about those kind of features that I mentioned. Um, so once we have it installed and we open it up, so there's a lot of different things you're going to see when you open it up here, right? You're going to be like, okay, uh, there's connect now, there's search, there's all this stuff. What do I do with it? Where am I supposed to go? So you have countries you can pick from, a bunch of different servers. You can try out different servers and see which works best for you. Obviously, when you click on Connect Now, it's going to try to find the best possible server for you. Now, there might be times where those servers are not the best possible server for you. You can still have issues, for sure. NordVPN does also have a 24-7 chat option on their website. And I've used it. Like, before I started telling people that's the service that I use, I wanted to make sure that I was testing it as a consumer, as a customer. And they were responding to all of my questions in which they did. Um, so you have specialty servers you can pick from. You can also see your subscriptions, settings, auto connect, um, and all that kind of good stuff. So subscription is where you're gonna go to see how long your subscription has before it expires. Settings is where you can do a bunch of different things. Now in here, it has something called CyberSec. Now CyberSec is actually um, their version of uh, protecting you against malware. Um, it does also block advertisements and a bunch of different things. So I will go over to their website and I'll actually read you their description of what CyberSec does. So if you guys are looking for a little bit more information in regards to what CyberSec security is when it's built inside of NordVPN, it says that it blocks ads and malicious websites with the service. NordVPN CyberSec is an advanced technology solution that takes your security and privacy to the next level. <laughs> it blocks websites known for hosting malware or phishing scams, making you safer from online threats. Besides, it takes care of annoying flashy ads, with, which speeds up your browsing. So not only are they going to be you know, um, protecting you guys, but by blocking this stuff, it speeds up your connection, your ability to view web pages, all that kind of good stuff. And like I said, this is available on all of your devices and all platforms. Um, 
allow local network discovery. This is if you want to see the device that you're using your VPN on to be discoverable by your network. So if you need to access it from another device or something, you're going to want to have that on. If you want to make sure that it's 100% secure, that you know you don't want anybody on the network seeing that you're using this device, for sure, you can turn that off. Um, I mean, if you're using a device, um, the same kind of settings that you see here is going to be on a cell phone. So if you were you know, accessing somebody else's network, if you were in a public network or a friend or a family, then you can turn off these things and make it a little bit more secure, right? Um, help us improve as if you want to send back information and feedback to Nord um, and uh, help them improve the application. It doesn't send logs in regards to what you're doing, your personal information or anything like that. But generally for myself, I always turn this stuff off. Um, now you're going to see that I also have a custom DNS in here. Now this custom DNS that I've put in um, is actually AdGuard's DNS. So there's two different ways that I mentioned that you can block ads using NordVPN. You can block it with CyberSec security. And for whatever reason, if that's not good enough for you, you can turn CyberSec security off and turn on custom DNS and enter these numbers in 941401414. Now, if you want to also use AdGuard's family protection DNS, where it blocks things that are not necessarily appropriate for kids, then you would just change the last digit to a five. So instead of a 14, it would be a 15. It's as simple as that. Um, so those are the features that I've really liked and enjoyed with using with Nord. Using AdGuard's DNS inside of NordVPN allows me to run both an ad blocker and the VPN service at the same time with no conflict. And I've been completely happy with it. So when you're using um, Auto Connect, you can turn Auto Connect on. So as soon as the device boots up, it'll automatically connect to a server and you can pick one. Now, I'm also going to say when you look at trusted apps, this is where you do something called split tunneling. Let's say you don't want it blocking um, for certain applications. You can add those to your safe list so that it doesn't have any conflict. There are some applications out there that might act a little funky when you're using a VPN. Um, I know applications like, um, let's say, uh, Peacock TV or Netflix or, or 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 a bunch of those applications, those legitimate streaming services may not work if you're on specific servers. Sometimes with things like Netflix or Peacock, you have to be on specific servers if you're outside of those countries to access them. And the best way to do that is hit up the support from Nord, and Nord will walk you through exactly you know what servers you're going to need. But if you're in those countries, you don't necessarily need to have your VPN on, so you can use split tunneling to turn that stuff off. Backing out of there. Um, now you have connect now and you have search. So if you ever wanted to pick a specific server to connect to, I'm going to show you guys how to do that now. So we're going to switch over to my computer. You can do this on your phone as well. So NordVPN also has a tool on their website. If you go to nordvpn.com slash servers slash tools, it'll take you here. Now, this is where it'll actually, you know, do a recommendation. You can pick different countries. So right now it's recommending this server for me. If I wanted to pick a different country, it could recommend a different server for me. And what I would do is say, if I wanted to connect to 1165, then I would switch back over to my fire stick, right? You would go into search and you just type in 1165, right? You can see that's the Canadian server. And then we would just obviously go down and connect to it. It's as simple as that. So if you're troubleshooting, that's a troubleshooting step that you can try. Um, different servers, different countries, um, what it recommends for you. Obviously, always try to hit up their, their customer support. It's available 24-7, and it's been fantastic for me when I've been troubleshooting. Um, so those are some troubleshooting tips and tricks that I've used when I've been using NordVPN. Now, to talk a little bit more about the sale that they're having right now, if you guys are curious... So you can see, as seen on YouTube, you can get a two-year deal at 68% off and get four extra free months. Now, that's an awesome deal. So I use NordVPN on my computer, on my Fire Sticks, on my phone, all kind of good stuff. They have a 100% 30-day money-back guarantee. So try it out. See if you like it. If you don't, you have nothing to lose. You can get your money back. So 
it says it's a two-year plan for $3.71 a month, but you're getting four months for free. So it's really a 28-month plan for $3.71. So it's a pretty good deal. Try it out. Check it out. See if it's right for you. Um, I've told you the reasons why I use it. There's a lot of VPNs out there. I, I think that a lot of people should be using a VPN right now, um, especially there's a lot of things that are going on, um, especially uh, coming out of this holiday season. Um, just protect yourselves, guys, protect your identity, protect your family, um, protect your devices, all that kind of good stuff. Um, so yeah, if you need more information, all the links are going to be in the description below. So it's as simple as that, guys. If you're looking to, you know, speed up your internet connection to have privacy, security, if you're looking to block ads, have faster connections when you're browsing websites from all of your devices, this is what I use personally. It's within that 30 day money back guarantee, try it out, test out their customer support, see if it works for you and take it from there. All the information will be in the description below. And I hope that it works out for you guys that you really enjoy it. Like I have, it's been Mark from Next Level Tech and Android TV tips, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Hey everybody, uh, just before we get going, I wanted to say a huge thank you, much love and appreciation to everyone who supports what I do over here on Next Level Tech. Make sure you hit that like and that subscribe button and share these videos with a family member and friend.